Good Saturday morning, everybody. Welcome to the Pit Game Day pregame show. I'm Mason Spesky, your host here with you guys today. Today, the Pit Panthers head to Yankee Stadium in the Big Apple to take on their biggest rival, in my opinion, the Syracuse Orns. That's right, you heard it here first. I believe that Syracuse Orns are our biggest rival. They're my biggest rival as a Pit fan, um, primarily because I still have relatives and stuff and family and friends that are at WVU and at Penn State, so... I mean, sometimes I do like cheering for them and supporting them, but Pitt all the way, um, for sure. Definitely a good night last night in basketball for Pitt um, in terms of these rivalries. Um, Pitt had a much better night than WVU. WVU lost to Monmouth. Um, kind of just embarrassing for WVU. Um, they barely beat Missouri State, so that was definitely interesting. Um, Penn State did have a big win over Delaware State the other night, but they barely beat Lehigh last night so definitely interesting times there Pitt looking really good for basketball this year they did um beat and North Carolina a t pretty bad um and then they beat Binghamton pretty bad and Binghamton gave Northwestern a game the other night so this Pitt men's basketball team looks really good so definitely keep an eye on them that's for sure but anyway we're not talking about basketball right now we're talking about football so let's get right back into things um by the way, too, like one last point about basketball I want to make. Um, here's how I was going to do it. Um, obviously, you know by now I'm not doing a game day pregame and postgame show for every single game. After every five games, I like give a recap about what I think and how the team's doing and how things could get better. So, yeah, that's what I'll be doing for pit basketball. Closer to March and stuff, we'll be probably doing it more. We might be doing game day pregame and postgames in March, probably for the ACC tournament and or the NCAA tournament or NIT. So we'll get into that more. I'm just trying to finish out this football season here for sure. And that's what we're going to talk about now. So let's get right back into pit football. So, Sally, um, the Pitt Panthers, obviously, you know, this is not a good year for Pitt. Two and seven, the start, not very good. Already eliminated from bowl, bowl eligibility, which kind of stinks. Um, Considering it was a good year the past two years, and now we're not even going to a bowl game. If you put it in perspective, though, I mean, it's not as bad as you think because look at teams like Washington, Florida State, USC, Texas. They all were bowl ineligible two short years ago. And look at where they are now. A quick turnaround is possible, that's for sure. And look at just last year. I mean, WVU missed a bowl game. Look at where they are now. Miami of Florida, they missed a bowl game. Look at where they are now. Texas A&M, they're going to go to a bowl game. They missed one last year. So, Auburn. I mean, it's very well. Boston College, Georgia Tech might even go to a bowl game. It's very well possible, and I do truly believe this team's going to be good next year. They just need to figure out some stuff. There's no need for any drastic changes. And I think the figuring out starts now. We know we're not going bowling. And that's okay. This will provide motivation for next year. And you know what we can do now? Our one chance we have to do it? Play spoiler. We can play spoiler today. The Syracuse Horns started the season 4 0. They've lost five straight, they're 4 5. Looking at the remaining schedule, us. Who do they play next week? I'm, I'm blanking. At Georgia Tech which is no slouts, and Wake Forest at home. Should they lose today, their path to bowl eligibility becomes very tough. Because they, if they, they're they 4-5 and five right now. If they lose today, they'll be 4-6. and six. Going into Georgia Tech next week is not going to be an easy game. I would have to imagine they lose that game. They won't be bowl eligible if they lose today. So Pitt's going to play with that like little chip. I think the pressure today is on the Syracuse Orns, for sure. Because Pitt's playing for nothing. They're playing to see what their future is for 2024, 2025, and beyond. Well, obviously they're playing for something, because every game means something. You want to send these seniors out the right way. Syracuse, though, is playing for a bowl. They're going to have a little bit more of pressure on them. If they win today, they're probably going to go to a bowl game. If they lose today, they're probably not. So this game means everything to them. I think it's going to scare them a little bit. They're not at home. Well, they technically are, but not at 
home home. It's a Yankee Stadium. They're cold. And Pitts has played Florida State very good. I think this is going to be an interesting game. I don't think Syracuse is the best of teams. Obviously, we are unfortunately not very good either. But I think the Panthers do just enough today to get their third win of the year. And it'll be a memorable one. I'm taking the Pitt Panthers today in this one. Pitt 24, Syracuse 20. I think we play spoiler today. And I think we play well. And I think we get the job done and capitalize on losses by the other two local teams and our two local rivals, our second and third biggest rivals, because Syracuse is our first, like I just said, Penn State and West Virginia. Because Penn State plays Michigan today at home. I don't think they win. WVU plays at Oklahoma tonight. I don't think they win. So it would be a great week ahead if Pitt's the only local team that wins today. So definitely good things for sure. Um, don't worry. We shouldn't really be worried, though. My thought that's about PSU and WVU. Just worry about beating Syracuse. That's all that matters. Playing well. Seeing Valu play well. Maybe we'll see some of Yarnell today. Hopefully, if we do, he plays well. I'd be more focused on Valu. Hopefully, he does some good things. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. In the meantime, go Pitt. Enjoy this game. It'll be a memorable 100th edition on this Veterans Day at Yankee Stadium. I'm sorry I forgot to say this in my first two videos, but happy Veterans Day. Thanks to all those who served. It means a lot, and it's very important. So thank you to all veterans for sure. So also to all deceased veterans looking down. God bless you guys. Hopefully you're happy in heaven. So God bless you. So God bless all veterans. Happy Veterans Day. Thank a veteran if you see one today. Um, enjoy this football game. The 100th edition of Pitt Syracuse on Veterans Day should be a memorable one. Have a good one. Take care. Stay safe. Go Pitt. Happy Veterans Day. Pray for Israel. And as always, peace. See you guys for the postgame show.